Hey y'all, this is Ursula, your hobby container gardener. Out here, trying to get some work done. It's a little chilly, but it's not cold. All right, so for the last two nights, I think our lows were maybe like mid 40s. Y'all, I didn't cover anything because it wasn't a frost, it wasn't freezing in our neck of the woods. So nothing got covered nothing got any damage to it everything looks beautiful i think they love this cooler weather and so do i so y'all i am out here and it is garlic planting time so uh, i didn't order these i did purchase them for my um my local store there's some nice big cloves and I have this grow bag all ready and prepared for these garlics so before I plant them in I just want to let you know what I have in here so this is a combination of old used soil um, new soil black cow and an extra heap of compost along with some um, blood meal and bone meal so I think that is all these garlics will need to grow for me um, I tried growing garlics last year and it was pitiful it was pitiful it yeah that's all I could say it was pitiful <laughs> so but I'm not giving up that's the thing I'm not giving up I am going to grow some garlic so I have been channel surfing watching everybody who is planting garlic and I think I have enough information and I'm ready to plant them so here we go so bottoms down top is up and I'm just going to make a little indention y'all I'm still using this PO2 auto face tracker trying to get the hang of it so if it turns all wonky don't mind it all right so i'm gonna get the rest of them i think they say it all only use the biggest clothes so i'm gonna go ahead and set these out where i want them so i'll make sure and have enough space for everything that i want to plant not trying to plant them too close together. And I think one more. Okay. All right. So this is kind of what, uh, not me. I want you to look in the bag. Yeah, this, this face tracker is tracking my face, y'all. I, I mean, it's doing its job. It's doing what it's supposed to do. So, uh, let me get closer to the bag. All right. Okay. So we're going to take that. All right. So I'm really just scratching a hole down in here, pushing the garlic down, and collapsing around it. And I did try to keep the skin on it to help it so it doesn't rot. And y'all, that's all I'm doing. There's no set depth that I need to go to. I just need to push them firmly down, make sure the entire garlic ball or clove is covered, and push the soil back around it. All right. I don't want to overcrowd it because if I get something this year, I want them to be some big bulbs. All right. Oh, God. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So I had one in my hand. I missed. All right. All right. So. That's all done. I'm going to water that in. 
Oh, Lord, I can't get up like I used to when I kneel down like that. <laughs> can't do it no more, y'all. I just, I can't. <laughs> so, I want to uh, turn you guys around and just kind of give y'all an overview of the brassicas. All right, y'all. Overview, overview, overview. Everything is looking good seems to be growing good and i think they are really enjoying this cooler nicer weather um i check it every day make sure there's nothing biting and eating on these cabbages and the broccolis all the cauliflowers and so far so good I did cover some of these up because they were so small and I wasn't sure if that 40 degree temps was going to affect them. So after tonight, I will be taking those uh, bell cloches off and they're going to get all the sun and wind and everything they need. All right, y'all. So... Carrots are looking good. They're tiny, but they're in there. Radishes and beets and turnips. And I'm starting to see a couple of onions pop up. So, yep, garlic is in a great place right next to the onions. Can't wait for them to come up. So, y'all. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm excited. I love the cooler weather. I don't love the cold, cold weather. But the cooler weather, I'm cool with it. I, I can deal with that. <laughs> and I will try to enjoy my garden while the weather is this temperature or a little bit higher. But once it goes below 40, yeah, that's when I'm going to probably be inside a lot. So, y'all, I do have a couple more um, cloves of garlic. These are the smaller cloves. So, what I think I'm going to do with these is I have a couple of pots over there that doesn't have anything in it. Um, I did plant some uh, onions along with my cabbages. So, I do have a couple of pots over there that I don't have any onions in those. So I think I might stick these in here and see what I can get. Maybe one or two in the broccoli pot. Um, I don't think the cauliflower pots are big enough to. Maybe the broccoli pots. I'll put these with the broccolis. So trying to maximize my space, y'all. I'm trying to plant as much as I can in the smaller space that I have. But, y'all, I'm, I'm happy with the way it looks. I'm happy with the way everything is growing. And I'm happy for this cooler weather. All right. I just wanted to come on and let you guys know garlic, check, has been dropped. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have a wonderful evening. Y'all stay safe. Y'all be blessed. Um, I will see y'all on another video. I will be watching some of the videos that y'all are making so I can see what everybody else is doing in different states and different cities, different types of garden. I just, you know, I just like to see all of that. So stay safe, be blessed. I will talk to you guys later.